Generally, I'm rather fed up with countering Simon Webb's absurd stuff. At... However, the stuff about the Mother's Cross today is particularly onerous. The suggestion that a cross be awarded for women for having numerous children is actually not that uncommon. The French had a similar cross from the 1920s onwards, which was awarded to women, and the Soviet Union had the Order of Maternal Glory. However, what Simon didn't tell you about the Mother's Cross was it came with a certain number of conditions. And I'm not going to suggest the French and Russian ones were perfect or were not driven by a particular view of motherhood of women that was common to the era. I am, however, going to going to share some facts about the Mother's Cross that were omitted. This is the cross of some information from the uh, another site, the cross of hit honour for the German mother. To increase the birth rate, the Nazi regime ran a non-stop propaganda campaign that glorified starting a hat family and having children. Well, obviously, there's no, not a really an issue of the idea that a country does need to keep its birth rate up to some extent or else it will become extinct although doing that in a way that is A, ecologically friendly, and B, doesn't overpopulate the country is another question. One manifestation of the Nazi cult of the mother was the cross of honour for the German mother, also known as the Mother Cross, which the NSDP awarded in Hitler's name to mothers with four or more children. The Mother's Cross was first awarded on Mother's Day in 1930 year. That year alone, about three million women qualified for the honour, which are supposed to be awarded only to the genetically fit, politically reliable and socially worthy. Those three uh, phrases should give you some idea about some of the agendas behind that cross. There's a whole load of statutes you can find in German, which give you information on who it was supposed to be awarded to and when it could be withdrawn. Some of them are quite funny, and it could be, you know, if women smoked, that was a ground not to award it. Here is Cross of Order of the German Mother, Medal Third Class, Order Bronze Cross, and I'm not even going to attempt the German because my German is... Re I can read it and stumble through, but when I speak it, it's the world's worst accent, and any German laughing would watching would laugh and die laughing at me. However, here we go again. It tells you it was awarded by Hitler's for in th three levels. First class gold for, for mothers with eight or more children. Second class silver for six to seven children. Third class bronze for five to four children. Last of all, you have this from the National Holocaust Center Museum. And I'm going to read out all of the, that little bit down the bottom. Mother's crosses came in three classes. Third class bronze, awarded to mothers who birthed and raised four to five children. Second class silver, awarded to mothers of five, six to seven children. First class gold, or to eight children more. That's, of course, a repetition of what I read out a few minutes ago. But the next bit is not so much. The courses were awarded to honor German mothers for their service to German people and form part of a propaganda campaign to promote large families. Therefore, increasing the population of the Third Reich. Notice the next bit. Only women fulfilling Nazi racial ideal, eligible, ideals were eligible for a cross. To receive one, both parents of the children had to be German-blooded. If you had Jewish ancestry of any significant amount, you weren't eligible. So we have a bloke that's knocking out Zionist videos who's promoting an idea that was promoted by a state that would have... <sighs> disavowed itself of any responsibility to give such awards to Jewish women who had children and the number of Jewish women living in Germany at the time of 1939 who would have regarded themselves primarily as German with Jewish ancestry or German and Jewish was quite large. So Simon, if you want to explain how you're promoting these wonderful ideals of the Third Reich and promoting Zionism at one time, let me know, because the cognitive dissonance is very real with this stuff and very disturbing. That's the idea, ideas of racial purity. Great. And mothers had to be considered worthy. As I say, the concept of worthiness was a very uh, 
type thing. If if mothers were promiscuous, abo- had an abortion, miscegenation, exogamy, it could be withdrawn. Crosses could be withdrawn if uh, officials decided a woman had become unworthy. For all those reasons I've just stated. For example, by not raising her children in line with Nazi ideals. The first crosses were presented in 1938 and the last in 1930. 1944, by which time approximately 7 million had been awarded. Simon, later in the day, you knocked out a video where you talked about Belson, which was a horrific place, a hell on earth. However, a few hours before that, you're knocking out videos recommending we that policies from the Third Reich might not be so bad. What the heck is this? Some kind of bizarre satire that I'm too thick to grasp or some something like that? Perhaps you could explain these strange contradictions as my intellect seems unable to grasp them. 